In today's The Dish, we are making one of the world's favorite foods, pizza. And we're having a pizza party. Yes, we are. The <laughs> owners of Pizzata Pizzeria brought us into the kitchen at their brand new spot on East Passyunk for real deal tips and tricks to make your home pizza taste like it just came out of the oven in mm. Italy. He's the dough master and you are Pizzaiolo. Shiro Lubrano was born into a pizza family in Naples, Italy. Pizza's first one, nine years old I was when my dad had me make my first pizza. Vinnie Gallagher, the dough master, is from South Jersey. I did a lot of self-taught. Like I gave myself a PhD in like making dough and stuff like that. They own Pizzata with now two locations in Philadelphia. It means a uh, pizza, pizza party. Yeah. In Italian. So yes, it's a pizza party. In Italy, when you get together for or, you know, a pizza party, you say, uh, let's have a pizzata tonight. Now, Vinny's sourdough is far from the crust of Chiro's homeland. When you think sourdough, you, some people automatically think, mama, tang, really intense flavor. But for us, I've always wanted to do sour without the sour. It's five ingredients, water, your sourdough starter, flour. You want to use high protein flour? Then add salt, mix. <laughs> and slowly add olive oil. Pop, 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 pop. That's the sound you're really kind of looking for. Once the dough is ready to work with, roll it out and mark your crust. Imagine like a rabbit, like just hopping. Okay. So you'll just hop along and push it forward. As I learned, please leave the bubbles. Look at that track. <laughs> no! No, 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 no. Yeah. That's fermentation error. That's a Organic compound. Like that's For the sauce, start in the middle and fan out. And leave as less as possible in the middle because what happens when it melts, it will tend to slide towards the middle. Add some fresh mozzarella and olive oil and she's ready. A few tips for the home oven. Parchment paper can double as a pizza peel. And just sliding it onto your pizza stone. Also, preheat the oven for an hour on max and 10 minutes before the pie goes in. Heat the broiler. That way you kind of replicate that like like Neapolitan wood-fired oven where it gives you that pop. And do not flip on the convection. Forced air blowing real hot, it dries out your dough. Once it comes out, cool on a wire rack so it doesn't get soggy. Get that crunch all the way through. Add some shaved Parmigiano Reggiano, fresh basil, and drizzle a little more extra virgin olive oil. What I love about this is how that crunch. Oh, that. No flop. No flop. Flop at all. And enjoy while it's hot. Pizzata. Salud. Pizza. 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 Pizza party. Really good. Yes, yes. I made it into the video. Yes, our special, photographer. Yes. Special appearance by. Photographer and editor extraordinaire Todd Haas, who's yes. my partner in crime on the dish. So I was like, get it. It's a pizza party. Everyone has to come to Everybody it. Everyone has to get in. You did a fabulous job. But now I know why my pizza crust is never like crispy because right. I don't put it on a wire rack. It always like ends yes. up getting too soft and soggy. There you go. So. There you go. And the oven's yeah. got to be hot. You got to crank it for an hour. So you know what I love about them? Their tagline is crust the process, mm. right? <laughs> so great. So many people at home feel like they just can't get this right. So we have the recipe for you at 6abc.com slash the dish. And coming up at five, you're going to love their origin story, how that self-taught dough master captured the attention of those two pizzaiolos from Italy. It's kind of a, it, it, it's a pizza tale that you'll want to hear. We're happy they made it here to show us how to make pizza at home.